Hello, you wonderful person. Hello, you beautiful creature. You are killing it today. Whatever you did today was awesome. You did so good. Hello. And welcome to my life as a crazy bug lady. I am kind of um, sporadic today. I just got home from work. I had to stop by the piercing shop because I stupidly lost one of my piercings yesterday because I thought it would be a good idea to take it out and lost it and um, got a new one. It's a little flower. And then I also have a ginormous healing tattoo on my leg. Um, I don't know if I can show you because it's so bloody because I have a Saniderm on it. But anyways, we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about my bugs. So today I thought I'd kind of just do a short, quick little video. I would just stop in and tell you something I'm really excited about. I have two things I'm really excited about. Well, more, but two most important things. And I thought, well, I could just share it with you. We could just hang out on this lovely whatever day you're watching this day because we're friends, I think. Are we? We are. Anyways, let's go right to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is I have kind of like a mini haul here. Also, what do you think of this sweater? I feel like it's so grandpa. It's just, I love it. So I have a bit of a haul because I did order some isopods and if you don't know what isopods are they are actually not bugs or insects they are crustaceans and um, since I always jokingly call my scorpions lobsters I thought it would be really fun that I have some actual crustaceans in my collection and so today I'm going to show you um, what I ordered and they are isopods oh, I already said that uh, too much coffee Anyway, um, I got a few different species and I'm really excited to see how they go, how it is to care for them. Um, isopods are basically roly polies, but cooler. And I'm just um, excited to have them because not only are they really pretty and beautiful to look at, and there's so many different species you wouldn't even believe it, but they're also amazing for cleanup crew. So you can use them in your other enclosures to help you know, break down the waste and any discarded food that they have left out. You're gonna eliminate a lot of mold and mites and stuff like that that can come with keeping things like tarantulas or mantises and enclosed enclosures. So anyways, I have four different species here. I actually only ordered three, so I don't even know what the fourth one is to be honest with you, but I kind of want to give you a little look at them and we can just see how freaking cool they are because if you've never appreciated or never seen isopod species or knew that it was even a thing because I didn't know until like maybe a year ago um or maybe you already collect and have isopods and like these are totally whatever not even exciting ones but I still thought I would just like you know show you and we can look at them so in here I have my dairy cows and my zebras <laughs> I think it's kind of funny because they're both like animals cows zebras they're together um, I don't know if I can really give you a good look this angle. I'll give you some other footage. But here's one of the zebras. I hope you can see. And here's another zebra. Let's see if we can find a dairy cow. Oh, here's a really good zebra. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that guy is. Oh. See? And I saw a dairy cow. Okay, so here's a dairy cow. Can you see? They have that black and white striping, or not striping, splotching that makes them like cows. They're so fast. Here's a dairy cow. Oh, here's a big dairy cow. Oh, I hope you can see him. He's so big. Oi. But yeah, I'm really excited to set these guys up and see how they do. And then in the second one, I have, it says powder orange and granulated. So I ordered the powder orange because I think orange is my favorite color. I love orange. I have orange hair. I have orange shower curtain. But, um, so I definitely, if there's an orange option of a bug, I will get it. I will want it. I will get it. It will be mine. So, and then it says granulated. And I'm honestly not sure what the granulated ones are. I am not an isopod expert, so I thought we could look at them and we'll find out together what they are. <laughs> so here are, you can see an orange one right here. They are so orange. I really love how pretty and orange they are. Oh my god, there's a teeny baby. Here's some more orange. And 
let's see if we can't find... Oh! Oh, wow! The granulated one's actually really cool. And here's an orange one over here. Cool. I want to find a, another granulated. There's one. Right there! Oh, he's running away. I love the orange ones. They are so orange. Excuse me. Orange. Okay, I wanted to give you a better look at some of these isopods. Um, ignore the poop. Here are some zebras. And there's a dairy cow. Oh, they're so fast. I want to see a dairy cow. There's a dairy cow. There's dairy cows. They're so fast. And then orange. The powder orange and the granulated. Let's see. Here's an orange. There's an orange. Is that an orange? Here's some oranges. They're so orange. There's a granulated. granulated big one down there cool oops sorry they're so cute honestly they're adorable I think they're so cute like they're just like little roly-poly guys but they're colorful and I'm really excited they're really easy to keep and um, from what I've heard and I have a dream someday of getting rubber ducky isopods. They are so cute. They literally look like little rubber duckies as isopods. They're adorable, but they're really, really expensive. I'm really excited to have these. And also, if you watched my last video, I talked about pet bugs that can't hurt you. I really should have talked about these guys because there's absolutely no way they can hurt you. They're really small. They're very cute. And I'm excited to set these guys up and see how they do. I hope you thought they were cute. Maybe they brought a little bit of serotonin to your day like they did to mine. But yeah, so I just wanted to show my little isopod haul and see um, what you think about isopod content. If you've ever thought about them, if you have them, if you love them, if you want them, whatever you feel about them, I support you. Anyways, now I want to go to exciting news slash announcement slash thing number two and that is that I got something else really exciting in the box with the isopods and that is some male orchid mantises. I want to show you how cute and small they are. Here's the boys. I got oh shoot I ended up getting two. Here's one. Here's one. And what's really exciting about getting these boys is that I have my big girl, and she is my first orchid mantis that I ever had. Here she is. She's beautiful. And now she's gonna have a couple boyfriends. The size difference between the male and female is just insane. Look how small he is compared to her. That's crazy. Small, big. Small, big. But anyways, um, I'm excited to try to breed these. I have bred mantises in the past. Some have gone successful and some not, but I'm pretty excited to try out orchid mantises because these are really, really beautiful mantises. They're actually really easy to care for in my opinion. And um, I know they're very sought after. I have spent many a dollar on orchid mantises. I do have six, I think right now. So if I could produce some babies myself, I would be so excited. And then I could maybe share them with other people who are interested in having orchid mantis too. So yeah, stay tuned for more information about the breeding, how it goes. I'm gonna try to document some of the process of it so you can see um, if I have any luck, if it works out, if they pair, if there's babies. So yeah, stay tuned if you wanna see um, what happens with this. I think I need to give these guys names. This is Sakura. So I'm kind of thinking that they should be Sasuke and Naruto. How will we tell the difference? They're both missing one leg both missing with their back left leg they're twins huh interesting but yeah so here's that i'm really excited look at the difference okay so i wanted to show you the difference in size between the male and female orchid mantis but um this happened 
Um, I gave her something to eat, so she won't eat him. But um, he's like just sitting on her back, so um, he, somebody's got to tell him this isn't how you do it. I don't know, but you can see the size difference, and that's what I was hoping to show. But um, yeah, wish him luck. I think he's a bit confused. I hope she just keeps eating. <laughs> but yeah, so here's Sakura and Sasuke and Naruto, and we're going to see what happens and see which one she likes more. And we're going to hope we have very cute little babies in the future that we can raise on this channel and like see the whole process of the little babies growing up. I think that'd be really fun. We can like name them together. I love them. They're so small. You're so small. Oh my god, one just flew away. I think that's really all I have to say. I'm sorry this is such a small short video, but like I said, I just got off work. Tattoos leaking, piercing hurts. It's just a lot and um, I am gonna go eat some dinner and go to bed, but I really hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate so much that you watched my video. It means so much to me, honestly. Like, this is such a fun, like, I love my hobby. I love it so much with all of my heart, and it's awesome to me that other people are interested in it as well. So, yeah, thank you. And, oh, I forgot to mention, um, if you want to see, like, daily short little clips of my animals doing their thing, I recommend following me on TikTok. My username on there is Slightly Venomous, spelled exactly the same it is here. No capitals, no dots, nothing, just Slightly Venomous. And there um, I post kind of daily or most almost daily um, little clips of different animals doing their thing. <laughs> and um, just so you can kind of see them. And I also have an Instagram, which you can follow. Yeah, here's the boys and they are very cute. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. They appreciate you. Say thank you, boys. Say thank you, boys. Say thank you.